We've all been there. You have a headache, you reach for a bottle of aspirin, but then you see it, the date. It expired six months ago. You might wonder, is it still good or is it poison? In this video, we are going to explore the fascinating science and history behind those expiration dates, including a billion dollar secret project by the US military. But first, a very serious disclaimer. While the history we are about to tell you is true, you should never take expired medicine. Why? Because unlike the controlled experiments we're about to discuss, the medicine in your cabinet has faced heat, humidity, and time in ways that can make it dangerous. So what actually happens inside that bottle when the clock runs out? Let's find out, right here in Simple Things Surprising Histories. In 1979, the FDA began requiring expiration dates on all medications. Legally, this is the date the manufacturer guarantees full potency. But in the 1980s, the U.S. Air Force had a problem. They were sitting on stockpiles of drugs worth millions of dollars. Throwing them away seemed wasteful, so they launched the Shelf Life Extension Program. They tested 122 different drugs and found that, under perfect conditions, nearly 90% of them were still effective years past their date. Now, you might hear that and think, great, my old pills are safe. Stop right there. The military keeps their drugs in climate-controlled warehouses with perfect temperature and humidity levels. Where do you keep your medicine? Probably in a bathroom cabinet. Bathrooms are the worst place for chemicals. Every time you take a hot shower, the heat and humidity attack the chemical bonds in your pills. While the military's aspirin might last 10 years, your aspirin might have degraded in six months because of the steam from your shower. The military proved that pills can last, but your bathroom proves why they often don't. The real danger of expired medicine isn't just that it won't work, it's that it can change into something else entirely. Chemicals are unstable. Over time, they break down. In some cases, like with a class of antibiotics called tetracyclines, there is history of the drug breaking down into a toxic chemical that can cause kidney damage. While modern drugs are more stable, you cannot see chemical breakdown with the naked eye. An expired pill looks exactly the same as a fresh one, but the chemistry inside may have turned against you. This is even more critical for life-saving medicines like EpiPens or insulin. If you are having a severe allergic reaction, you cannot risk using an expired EpiPen that has lost potency. If the medicine is only 50% effective, it could be the difference between life and death. The rule is simple. If your health depends on it, do not gamble on the expiration date. So, if we agree that taking expired meds is a bad idea, how do you get rid of them? For years, people flushed old pills down the toilet. Please never do this. Wastewater treatment plants cannot filter out complex pharmaceuticals. When you flush antibiotics or hormones, they end up in our rivers and lakes. This affects fish, wildlife, and eventually our own water supply. The safe way to handle this is simple. Most pharmacies have a take-back bin. You just drop your old bottles in, and they are incinerated safely at high temperatures that destroy the chemicals without harming the environment. If that's not an option, mix the pills with coffee grounds or kitty litter in a sealed bag and throw them in the trash. This stops kids or pets from eating them. History teaches us that medicine is durable, but science teaches us that it is unpredictable. The money you save by keeping an old bottle isn't worth the risk to your kidneys, your heart, or your health. When in doubt, throw it out. Safely. Check your medicine cabinets today. Clear out the old stuff and stay safe. If you found this history helpful, please like and subscribe to Simple Things Surprising Histories for more stories about the world around us. Thanks for watching.